Okay guys, we have a mess here, or at least it looks like a mess. I haven't got it all zip tied together and placed where I'm going to put it yet. But as you know on this uh, electric winches on these pop-ups, let's see if I can get a picture of the original solenoid. There's the original one there. And I was still able to go down, but I wasn't able to go up. So I just pulled all the wires off of it. And I'm going to... I'm going to leave that up in there. I know it's hard to see. Because if I have any issues with what I did here, I plug everything, plug it back into the original one, and I'll still be able to make it go up and down. Coming down was no problem. Going up, I had to tap on the relay to get it to work. <coughs> but anyway, I bought this one. I found on Amazon. It's upside down. Dang it. There we go. CNO243 12VDC 80 amp, 100 amp. And there's your wiring diagram. Now, basically, all I did, and I'm going to redo some of this because I ran out of some supplies, so I just made do. So you plug everything in like the diagram says, but what you got to change. Trying to hold this. Notice that this pin here has an N over it, so that's a neutral wire. So that needs to be ground. So, like your switch wire, this is not all original. The yellow and the white go to that sensor that stops your roof from going up and down too far. All that still works. But you see the wires yellow, white? Okay, that runs into that. So basically you're going from your switch into that and then from that to your solenoid and you're going to just keep it like it is and that white and yellow wire will plug into the top of your common one common two this big red wire is hot from battery it goes into the positive and it's labeled on the solenoid but you need a hot wire going to your switch so i tapped into that now i'm going to redo this this is just because i had it i still have to run the store but I wanted to test it, make sure it worked. So I spliced in right there, and this goes to my switch. Okay? So that's my hot switch. Okay, so you add a hot switch to this. You piggy tail off your ground wire to this neutral, because that one's ground. It says ground on the diagram. So I kind of did the same for now. Tapped into it like that. And then just came over to this neutral and grounded it. And this works. Um, I still have to get all my wires out of the way. And you want to put this somewhere out of the way. I'm not going to put it underneath. I'm going to put it somewhere it's easier to get to. Now this is not a continuous relay. It's not made to just put the power to it and keep going. I would raise just a few seconds, you know, give it a break. Raise a little more and give it a break. It's not made for continuous use, but it, it works. See, I am down all the way now. I'm not for sure which way is up and which way is down. Hard for me to do this with one hand. I forgot to tell y'all, and I'm going to move this too, because my battery box lid won't fit on it. But instead of blowing that little breaker, instead of blowing that $8 breaker all the time, if you happen to, I went ahead and got one of these $16 switches. That way, if something happens, it's going to flip it. And then if you want to reset it, you just push that down and you're ready to go again. If you need to disconnect, there you go. So... I'm going to, uh, like I said, rewire this, put it somewhere probably down in here to where it's I can get the lid on. Now, now we can come back over here. I didn't look to see which way was up. Not that way. Get a break. Okay, it's, it's 
not hot to touch yet so you could go longer than that but that's i want to play with it see how long i can use it without it getting too hot but i normally just go up a little bit give it a break go up a little bit more and be sure my little catcher thing catches that gear of course when the cover's on there you can't see none of this but we was going up see where that's down because my limit slips not or my limit switch here is no longer stopping it. so it'll go down now let's go back up so let me test this this switch here i always get it upside down and I've seen the price on these from $13. I paid $17 for this one off Amazon. And I got to looking around. Other companies have this, which it says this is made in USA. And this is also sealed all the way around. So, like I said, I'm going to find a place to mount it in here. And uh, I'll put my cover back on. And we're going to use it and see how it works. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know that there is maybe another solution other than that. I've seen that factory switch down there from uh, about 50 bucks to 92 bucks versus uh, say $16. So I hope this helps y'all out. And like I said, uh, I'm gonna rewire some of this stuff and get it looking better, uh, but it works. And uh, man, if it'll keep working, I'm tickled. Talk to y'all later. Oh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, help us out, thanks. Okay, we're going to pop this up because I've got to get some stuff loaded into it for a camping trip that's coming up. And I just got all this put back together. I got the new solenoid in there. Uh, got the switch wired up. And then I've got my resettable switch that I put in here. It's still in this battery box. So everything should be ready to go up. Now I can reach up underneath there that new solenoid is resting kind of up against this and i zip tied it to the motor and i'm gonna get some really strong uh sticky tape so i can actually stick that solenoid to this piece of metal up in there keep it from bouncing around a little bit uh and that's another thing i've got some of that in the camper so once i get it popped up i can do that but i'm going to uh raise it like i normally do and then we're going to see how hot that switch is, which it's not a really hot morning, but anyway, we'll, let's just see how it, how it does. It normally pops. I'm going to reach up in there and see how warm it is still cold to the touch we're about halfway up now it starts jumping i, I normally let off and then go more. and there it is went all the way up and that solenoid is still cool to the touch. So I think it's going to do just fine. All right, I'm going to finish setting it up. Okay, so I got my stuff loaded. It's so nice to come over here and know that it's going to work. Now I'm going to go check the canvas. Now we're going to go down some more. Check cams again. Now we should be able to come the rest of the way down. And there it is. So far, so good. 